Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. Tag team action in full effect, guys. And these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. A spectacular maneuver. Bailey's on the attack. And a savage clothesline. And now it's oh. Bailey on her heels. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Look at this. Oh my goodness, crushing it! In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Float over. And it was a maneuver! Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. I think this man means business. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Really locking in the stretch here. Got it. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. gonna hurt tear your hamstring things not looking great for Finn Balor headed into this match he and his partner look extremely competent it's decision time Cole oh, does man. he try to get back on the offensive himself or does he attempt to make a tag here this match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action James was able to get out of there. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Super kick. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. He's pinpointing the neck here. He's starting to stagger a bit. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now Mike is shoulders are down. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. 
It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. He might have it. Grounds him with a power slam. Here's his chance. And he kicks out. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. She's flipped a switch, and the light oh. is on. Brutal attack to the top of the head. In off the tag. Launcher. This is some great offense by Finn Balor. There's the cover. Can he do it? Mickey James with an easy kick out. It's way too early. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look out! And it's McKinney James with a mick kick. Just when you thought he had... How does he keep doing this? The Balor Club is willing Finn Balor to continue this fight. A gutsy battle for sure. And it's Mickey James making the moves. Oh, spiking DDT. That should do it. On the match. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here are your winners, Mickey James and Bobby Lashley. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. Wow. Just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match.